Is Fuzhou a romantic city? The city of fortune has always been known for its freshness, and there has been no mention of any romance. However, this is simply because we are not good at discovering it. Many famous figures in Fuzhou's history, such as Bing Xin, Lin Huiyin, and Zheng Zhenduo, were very good at expressing their emotions, leaving behind many romantic quotes that have been passed down through the ages. It's so romantic, but this sharply contrasts with the introverted and sometimes inexpressive nature of the Fujo people I usually meet. How do people here typically express their emotions? How do they say, I love you? Where do they go on dates? My friends told me that if you want to understand the romance of Fujo people, there is a place you must visit. Fuzhou, a city naturally suited for love, is graced by the presence of the heart of the Minjiang River, which has endured the test of time. Amidst this serene sandbar lies a sanctuary for Fuzhou residents to breathe freely, River Central Park. Serving as an integral part of the heart of the Minjiang River, it stands as China's pioneering love-themed park, aptly named Love Island. This island, an ode to love itself, brims with countless romantic inspirations, each offering insights into the essence of love. The suspension bridge leading to Love Island is the only way to get there. Countless people longing for love have walked hand in hand here, or stopped to appreciate the different scenery of the Minjiang River in different seasons. Standing on the bridge to Fuzhou's Love Island, the feeling is truly unique. At the end of a beautiful day, with a gentle breeze blowing over the river, my sense is one of romance and true beauty. It's fantastic. In the 1950s and 1960s, there was no bridge here, and couples could only rely on old-fashioned ferries to arrive and depart. By the 1980s, young people were notably reserved about public displays of affection let alone holding hands or hugging openly. Situated on an isolated island within the river, River Central Park became an idyllic rendezvous spot for bashful young lovers. This banyan tree is called the matchmaking tree, and you can see it as soon as you walk through the suspension bridge. It has witnessed countless love stories, Hanging from this tree, we can see hundreds of red ribbons. Each of them contains a message sent by one lover to another. This one says, forever two hearts together. There's one up there from children sent to their parents talking about the love they feel. This is such a romantic way to express feelings. In the West, we might tell someone we love them with chocolate or by sending flowers, but I think hanging these red ribbons is so romantic. In 2016, River Central Park reopened after 19 years of closure. The layout of the entire island is no longer the same as before, but the theme of love remains unchanged. Moreover, Love Island also hides Fuzhou's only outdoor marriage registration office. When love turns from passion to commitment, here you can find all the ceremony you need. This is Fuzhou's first marriage registry office in a park. It won first prize at the 17th Fujian Excellent Architecture and Creativity Awards. Viewed from above, the shape of the building looks like a heart. Congratulations. Wow, it's such a privilege for me to be here to witness this special moment between a happy couple. Of course, Chinese and Western weddings have a few differences. For example, Western brides will usually wear white dresses, whereas there's a lot of red on display here. Also, in the West, after a couple gets married, they will often change their name so they have the same surname. 
One thing that our two cultures have in common, however, is they are beginning a new, long and happy life together. Congratulations to the happy couple. In the eyes of Westerners, the wonder of love lies in its uncertainty. Like a magical encounter on a midsummer night, like the moment of dawn breaking. But Chinese style love is not just about the passion and excitement of a moment, but also about the commitment and hope for a shared future. Just as the beautiful wishes written by ancient people in the Book of Songs, the peach tree is young and elegant, brilliant are its flowers. This young lady is going to her future home and will order well her chamber and house. In the evening, on the banks of the Minjiang River at Love Island, I encountered an elderly couple taking a leisurely stroll hand in hand. Wow! Hey, how beautiful! Hey, this one is good. This one is good. Oh, they paused from time to time, supporting each other all the way, as if experiencing the years together in their love. Despite facing challenges. Their love enabled them to understand each other and stay together. Young couples and elderly couples alike are chasing after the fleeting memories of the past and experiencing life's little joys. What is love? It's the innocence of childhood, the naivety of youth, and most importantly, the steadfast companionship through the ups and downs of life. Walking on Love Island, with a hint less shyness from the previous century. If you, like me, are anticipating the romance of love, then welcome to Love Island. Here you can seek answers to love and feel if the waves of the Minjiang River resonate with your heartbeat.